hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a quick review for you all on the Evelyn wig. I know this wig right here is very very popular right now on YouTube and I just wanted to come to you all to give you all a quick not even update but an initial review. I actually um, wore this wig yesterday out and I had it down and I will put up a picture to show you all how it looks down. I just wanted to try to customize it a little bit and this is my first time actually trying to customize my synthetic lace fronts because you know sometimes we feel like okay it's not even gonna last that long but I just wanted something fun and yes I have it in the color pink so if you want to find out all the details on this so first of all I ordered this wig online and I will put the details below as far as which company I ordered it from so I can't think of it right now it beats me right now but basically it is the free Trist equal deluxe and this is the premium deluxe lace front and it has a flat laid parting and the style, like I said it before, is Evelyn, but it's spelled E-V-L-Y-N. And the color is rose pink. And also what I like about the packaging is that it comes just like this, very secure in the packaging. It has this and it also had a net over it. And that helped it from being creased up and, you know, any type of dents in the wig when I first got it. And actually the color that I have is on the back on the model. I think I mentioned this in my other video before uh, they have actually gotten a lot better at representing the wigs better when it comes to the models because you know sometimes when we look at the box we're like no but we have to try to envision what what it would look like on us once we get rid of it. on YouTube right now where they're basically um, they're basically showing how you can actually glue down your synthetic lace frontals using the got to be glued and I actually tried it today and it works guys yes it, it works it really holds the wig down I didn't apply a whole lot of it because I was just testing it out just to see but for right now um you know the wig comes with the two combs in the front and then also a comb in the back and the thing I also like about this wig is because most wigs only have like the dark roots at the top and not towards the bottom of the wig and that way when you get ready to wear it half up half down you don't get the root like how it is right here so that's what I like about this wig is that it is dark roots throughout the more a more natural look so that I could be able to wear it up and it's not the best like I said it's my first time but I think it's pretty okay like I could walk outside and not feel like oh my god it's just terrible but it could be better but what I basically did was I just pulled out some of the front and I pull like, like the first little kind of um, row of hair in the front. And I used a eyebrow razor and I just razored it to make just artificial baby hairs. Because I feel like when you have the baby hairs, it just makes the wig look a little bit more believable. And I also used the got to be glued. I put just a really, really, really small, like a pea sized amount on my finger. And then I just did it in sections. I went, you know, starting over here and I just put the little pea size. And then I brought um, the wig forward and then I used my blow dryer and I just held it down and blow dried it. And I just did that all the way around the wig. It's not lifting as of now, but I would like to come back and show you all just a walkthrough as far as how I do it, um, all the products that I actually use. And at the end, I used the Got To Be Glued, the actual holding spray got to be glued and this is the blasting free spray try to make sure that you all can see that good and then I also use the got to be ultra glue the invincible styling gel I use the one that comes in the black pack packaging but I've seen people use the one in the yellow packaging I don't know what's the difference between the two I don't know if it is that it is it says non-sticky, non-flaking. And when I did a lot of reviews on this product, I mean the yellow pack versus this one, I was, this one is supposedly not supposed to flake as much as the other one, as well as um, it's not supposed to, like, it's supposed to still have the hold that you need, but it doesn't, like, get really, really sticky like the other one. So I'm not exactly sure, but I do more research on it. But so far, so good. I was thinking that I had purchased the wrong one at first, but it seems like, this is the, uh, like a newer one they came out with recently versus the one in the yellow packaging. But like I said, it works pretty well. So that's that's another good thing. And with the got to be glued, the freezing spray, once I got ready to style, once I got done styling the whole wig and everything, I just sprayed 
down like over like a gloss kind of over the front and just tied it down that way if i had any flyaways or anything like that because you know this is a straight unit so i was able to uh you know hold some of those flyaways it goes it is honestly unlike any other wig i've ever tried before this is my first time trying a wig from the deluxe lace front collection but i do first of all i love the texture of this this wig this wig is more like a yakky texture but it is still soft and it is still flowy it doesn't like feel stiff or anything like that and just from the feel of it, it i know synthetic wigs do not last a long time but this particular wig feels like it's gonna last me longer than a normal synthetic wig not to say that i'm gonna just be wearing it every day all day but um i just think that this wig is going to have hangling and shedding now when i did i didn't get any shedding at all until i started trying to customize the unit and that was around the edges so i kind of styled it first how i wanted it to be and why well, actually not even styled it i actually pulled the hair back and i clipped the hair back into a ponytail and then i just pulled out the parameter and just tried to style it the best way that i could i'm i'm going to try and see how long this wig actually lasts as far as longevity because when i was looking on youtube not a lot of people were talking about how long this wig lasted for them as far as various styles i'm also going to be you know trying to curl this unit when it does get a little bit older so just stay tuned for that later on but as of now i'm enjoying rocking this unit as a straight unit i love the color in it i love the flowiness of it it's got our little snags right there at the end but it's nothing like crazy i wore this wig out yesterday and i did not have to keep brushing it maybe a little bit of finger combing here and there you know we take our little ladies break or whatever just to straighten everything out but other than that the, the wig lays perfectly flat in the in the down position and like i said a lot of people there are a lot of reviews up on this wig with it laying down so yes we know that it can lay flat but tell me can it basically does it look good in an up hairdo can you wear it in an up hairdo is the back going to still tangle? Are you going to have a lot of shedding? Is it manageable? Those are the things that people want to know when they're looking to find a new wig. And that's what was the process for me as far as reviewing so many different videos on this wig. Because I just wanted to know, you know, is it going to be worth my $30? And yes, $30 is not a lot of money. But I don't want to spend $30 for a wig that I'm only going to wear one day. And that's how I honestly felt with my... Um, the last wig review that I did on the Yaki 30 wig, that wig literally lasted me one day. And that's the reason why I ended up curling it because it just was so stiff and I, it just was not flowy. So I was kind of like anti straight wig until I tried this one out. I'm completely in love and I just want to thank you all for watching my video and I will definitely be back. I don't care if it's just a quick update just to let you all know how this wig is working out for me. And in the meantime, in between time, Stay positive and be blessed, everyone.